Hey everybody, welcome to the next edition of the opensource.com weekly top five. I'm Jen and I am joined this week by my colleague Brian Behrenshausen. Thanks for joining me. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right, folks, here we go. At number five this week, it's Open Government and Open Data Week on opensource.com and community moderator Don Watkins takes readers on a tour of New York State's Open Data Portal, which is at open.ny.gov. Uh, he says this portal is dedicated to increasing public access to data. Here, users can access state data regarding education, economic development, energy, the environment, and much more. At number four, Docker is super hot right now, and there's a lot of folks out there who are interested in working with it, but they're unsure of the best way to get started or how to be a successful contributor. So we have a piece from Charles Vickery on five steps to becoming a quality Docker contributor. At number three this week, Matt Messine brings us an exclusive interview with Robin Bergeron, open, uh, operations advocate at Elastic and former Fedora project leader. Uh, Robin sat down with Matt in advance of her upcoming talk at Dev Nation, which is uh, an open source conference in Boston, Massachusetts, in the United States. That's coming up next week, as a matter of fact. Uh, Bergeron gives uh, us some insight into the culture and the future of DevOps. At number two, Jason Van Gumpster, or Monsta Java Guns, as he's referred to on Twitter, writes about the cool new features coming to the latest release of Blender. And Blender is a polished, stunning, open source creative suite that many people use to make high quality video animation projects. Mm -hmm. Jason also has a very cool podcast. It's called The Open Source Creative Podcast, and you should check it out. Mm -hmm. And last but, not we, uh, last but not least, folks, here we go. Uh, Robin Mowick has uh, an interview with Jen Krieger, an agile coach at Red Hat who's working on Project Atomic. Uh, Krieger tells opensource.com about her upcoming talk at Dev Nation and explains the ways that open source thinking is central to the DevOps project. Uh, this one, folks, has some great advice for engineers, so you're going to want to check this one out. All right, everybody, that's it for the top five this week. Thanks so much for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.